Are you a product manager who's stuck in your current role and your hard work never get recognized? Or are you new into product management and trying to figure out how can you become an outstanding product manager and continue to get promoted to become a director of product? In this video, I'm gonna break down these top 10 skills to become an outstanding product manager and get promoted. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, the founder, product manager, accelerator from drnancy.com. I help people transition from worker bee to a product manager and business leader. If you want to learn the most effective way to become a product manager, you should subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so that you'll be notified every time I turn on a new video every Wednesday. If you like any of the free tips I provide today, please make sure to hit the like button and share this video with all the product managers out there. Lots of you guys have this huge challenges after you become a product manager. Everybody is extremely busy and you want to know how can you become a better product manager and also be more efficient and hopefully continue to get promoted. However, there's no clear guide and specifically myself, I was able to become a director of product within four years and I frequently went to the city hall every single week to really understand the pain point and needs and desire of my customers that helped me to launch the product that received Mayor's Best Practice Award from our customers. And frequently I have so many customers email me and emailing my boss about the amazing product we have launched for our customers. So therefore, everybody needs to really emphasize on an understanding customers and put customer first. And I have quickly promoted into the new company. And it was because I knew how to successfully launch product and also how to communicate the outcome to the leadership team and through all your peers. So let me show you the top 10 skills you need to do to become an outstanding product manager and never do those mistakes I told you in this video. The number one difference between a bad product manager and outstanding product manager is that outstanding product manager has strong customer empathy. So a good product manager, they love the customer problem and they want to fall in love with the customer so that they're able to solve problems. As we said, product managers is the CEO of product, not just for the look of CEO, you really need to love the customers and love your product. However, bad product managers, they frequently think about themselves, their managers, their leadership, they're very self-centered. They always think about how can I get promoted. They might be thinking about, well, I think this should be done this way, but they didn't do enough customer interview to really understand the pain point of those customers. The second biggest differences between an outstanding product manager and a bad product manager is that the outstanding product manager knows how to lead without authority. Lots of you guys heard of this before and leading without authority. However, in reality, it's very hard to practice these new skills. Specifically, what do I mean by lead without authority is that product managers are the quarterback of the whole football team. So see yourself as Tom Brady. As a quarterback, you know what is the best way to ask all your team members follow the same product strategies and work towards the same direction. You are not anyone's boss, but you are everyone's leader. So this is a very important skills all the product managers need to master. Now let's talk about the bad product manager. Bad product managers just want to let other people follow the requirements and just directly tell them what they need to do, but they forgot to think about how would you be able to influence people so that they really want to follow you, not just follow your requirements. The third difference between an outstanding product manager and an okay product manager is that an outstanding product manager knows how to ask the right question at the right time. Especially when you go out for customer interviews, you need to ask lots of why questions, not what questions. And here's a specific examples and the real life experience how I teach my students inside the PM Accelerator. Specifically, when you go out for customer interviews and I have a pain point, which is I'm lacking sleep. I haven't slept well for nine months because I just had a new baby. Um, in the past, my baby was only able to sleep for three hours and every three hours he's gonna wake up. So I felt very bad, um, not able to focus on my work and my personal life as well. If you do customer interview, you may ask, hey, Nancy, what's your challenge? And I would say, I don't have enough sleep. But if you forgot to ask this why question, you never understand the true motivation behind it and design the right solution for me. For example, the why reason, what does this mean to me that I'm lacking sleep was that I truly really love my son. I don't want to use sleep training methodology which let him cry to sleep or any other methodology. Just I felt like I was able to work from home so I was able to accommodate him. But I lost my identity as a direct product, as a YouTuber, as a coach. 
I was able to film YouTube videos every single week and was able to train hundreds of product managers. But after I had my son, my priorities became him, I started to lose my identity. And I was struggling between continuing to be the Dr. Nancy B and also trying to be the best mom ever. So that was my biggest challenge. If you ask me this why question, you will understand what's inside my heart. But knowing this why, what does this mean? Is that you can design a different solution for me. The best way for me is actually time management. How are you able to hire someone to run the business operations for PM Accelerator so that I can focus on becoming the best coach to help people to become an outstanding product manager and then still trying to become the best mom and spend lots of time with my newborn baby. So the solution specifically to Dr. City is to hire someone who is outstanding COO who is able to run all the business operations for me so that I can still keep my own identity. But if you ask a different mom the same question, why, what does this mean they are lacking sleep, probably give you a different answer and you would design very different solution for other people. And the same kind of why questions need to be asked to different stakeholders, especially when you do executive presentations with expectations. So those kind of in-depth questions are very critical. I have prepared this top 10 questions for you to ask during a customer interview. You can directly go to this website and download this free sheet for you to become outstanding brand managers when you ask those important questions to your customers. The four skills you need to master is be an excellent at executive presentation. There's a huge differences between an outstanding product manager and bad product manager. Outstanding product manager knows what to say to who within a short amount of time. For example, if you present your outcome of your product launch to the CEO of your company or to VP or director, the amount of time you're able to communicate and talk quickly is very different. If you want to present to the director, you probably only have 10 minutes. If you want to talk to the VP, you probably only have one minute. If you only have uh, talk to CEO, you probably have 30 seconds to talk about your product and what the impact to the companies. And we actually teach people how to do different levels of presentation inside product manager accelerator. I also have a free training where I teach you how to improve your business English and public speaking skills in this video right here. A bad product manager, when they do executive presentation, they always give you a very long answer. On top of that, they do not sound confident about their product. Any roadmap, you're frequently asked, presented in front of executives, if frequently make it like, this is just what I did, without very sounding and strong, defending reasons why certain things need to be put on roadmap for what reasons. So this is one of the most important skills everyone needs to master. This is also the most important skills that help me to continue to get promoted quickly within my organization in the past. The fifth differences between an outstanding product manager and that product manager is that an outstanding product manager knows how to write amazing part of requirement and communicate with their team. You might have experienced bad product managers in the past who just tell you what exactly you need to do and then get it done. An outstanding product manager knows that they need to go in to write very comprehensive requirement and there are five different types of requirements which I'm going to teach you in the upcoming videos. Make sure you subscribe and learn those five important requirements right. And once you write a very comprehensive requirement, you need to have the engineering input. You also need to organize those requirement review meetings and also like groom your user story with your entire engineering team. So all those requirements are the foundation for you to build an outstanding product. So answer this question, have you encountered any bad product managers in the past? Comment down below and tell me more. The sixth difference between an outstanding product manager and bad product manager is that outstanding product manager knows how to think strategically and thinking in bigger scope. Now, let me give you a real life example. What do I mean by thinking in a bigger scope and for the product strategies you need to lay out for the near term, short term and long term. And this is one of the live cases I taught inside the PM Accelerator. For example, if you're designing a water bottle, you may be thinking, well, how can I design the water bottle for soccer mom, for athlete, and for normal people like us as drinking water bottle. But that's a very small scope of thinking. If you think specifically and strategically about the product strategies and roadmap, you will think like this. If we design a water bottle, how can I design it not only for people who drink it? How can I include people who sell the water bottle? which could be the 7-Eleven store. How can I design a water bottle so easy to transport? 
so that they can be shipped between different stores? And how can I design this water bottle better environment so that not only we protect the environment, it also help the marketing team to do a better branding. So you need to think not just, hey, let's make sure the water bottle is perfect. You think in a huge scope so that you're able to outperform your competition in the market space. Number seven, outstanding product manager knows how to manage the time efficiently. If you're a product manager, you understand this. We are in meetings all day long and it's very exhausting and you only have time to write requirement and working on something important in the early morning or in the evening, right? Because during that, so many meetings, you're getting distracted. And outstanding product manager knows what you need to do at what time. So time management is critical so that you are not pulled into all different kinds of directions. I have a free training talk about the top 20 productivity hacks. You guys should check it out right here. And you should definitely use the Jira stick it, and you should definitely use the agile methodology to manage your time. I highly recommend that methodology. And bad product managers, they're frequently running around and very busy and working really hard, but nobody really see a significant outcome because they frequently just get things done without thinking why they're doing that work and what they can do to prioritize their roadmap and better communicate with the team. Number eight, you need to manage up and manage your peers. If you're also a director of product or any kind of group product managers, you also need to learn how to manage them. So manage up and your peers and manage them are very important for your people management skills to learn for product managers. Now, outstanding product managers, they know what's the best way to communicate his deliverables, his achievement to the managers so that you align the right expectations within your entire team and help your managers to become even more successful within the company. The bad product manager just showed the deliverable he has done and any other things is on the roadmap without knowing what the right way to communicate and present himself during the performance review season. Now let's talk about manage cross-functionally and manage your team. A good product manager knows what's the politics, what the silos, what the needs and desires among different peers groups so that you know how to motivate them to work harder together and remove all the roadblocks, all those politics between different teams so that everyone can get in alignment to build a better product instead of addressing other unnecessary like human conflict. Now, bad product managers and frequently stepping on other people's toes um, and eventually getting backstabbed because he doesn't know how to manage the relationship politics among different teams. Number nine, also important managers knows how to prioritize the features instead of working on all the possible features on the roadmap. If you're outstanding product manager, it's likely you have very long roadmap, just like all the product managers. But outstanding product manager mainly thinking about only certain features need to be built and we don't need to pursue everything at the same time. And outstanding product managers also need to communicate with executive teams and talking about why certain features need to build right now and certain features we don't need to work on in the future for different kinds of reasons. And a bad product manager is just thinking about how can we work really hard to build all possible features and then you are very huge uh, feature rich product and hopefully you're able to capture all the market. But in reality, even if you copy all your competitors, your features, that doesn't mean that your product will be successful. So product managers need to learn how to ruthlessly prioritize your product features, your roadmap, and prioritize your time for your engineering team as well. Number 10, outstanding product managers need to know how to think three steps ahead of time. Usually a bad product managers only work on the right task in front of that person at this moment. In reality, in order to have very outstanding and successful product, good product manager need to think several steps ahead of time and lay out everything. For example, in real life, I have a product manager reporting to me she did a fantastic job. There was a feature and specific about product launch we didn't need to work on at this moment, but she wasn't here to say, hey, even if we don't need it at this moment, but it will impact long-term success of the product, I will take initiative to watch this specific feature and work on it. And then once it's the right time, I'm gonna move it to the prioritized roadmap. So these behaviors represent outstanding product manager who is able to think several steps ahead. Okay product managers and bad product managers only work on something right in front of them. If you want to learn how to become the outstanding product manager and ask the right questions to the customers and to stakeholders during the customer interview, you should go to this website and download the top 10 
question to ask at a customer interview so that it will get you ready to become an outstanding product manager and quickly get promoted as well. And the link is in the description of this video. Have you mastered all the top 10 skills to become an outstanding product manager? I hope by now you know what to work on. So if you like any of the free tips I provide today, please make sure you hit the like button and share this video and subscribe so that more people will discover this organic free training. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I'm going to see you next time. Bye.